Hello, Fallen Dragonite here again. I am returning here with little Waspinator Chan. And it's 2020, Year of the Rat, so I figured <laughs> since it's rat themed, I might as well review the two rat trap figures in my collection. So, welcome to the Year of the Rat Trap with Beast Machines Rat Trap and Generations Rat Trap. Yeah, these are the only two I actually own in my collection, so these are the only two I'm going to be reviewing in this video for the Year of the Rat. And of course, we're going to look at the older, chunkier one first, the Beast Machines one. Now then, Beast Machines gets a lot of hate. And a lot of it's kind of justified because they don't really have a whole lot of accuracy to the show. They have some questionable gimmicks and designs, but to be honest, Rat Trap in his rat mode, I actually do like this biomechanical rat design they have. Although the exposed spine-like thing is kind of weird. There is a gimmick. If you twist his tail, his head rotates and moves around, and even his ears move. Kind of a nice gimmick there. But it does cause a few problems, which I'll get into a little later. His mouth moves and it's clear plastic. His legs have some articulation there and so do his rear legs. But there's really no reason to really articulate his legs too much. So, that out of the way, let's get to transformation, shall we? We've got to rip off his tail first. Flip down this panel, flip out the post the uh, tail was on, flip out this section here. We gotta flip around his arm, his rear legs like so. Flip this out, fold this down, and we got hands and arms, sort of. So we gotta do the same with the other side, like so. And here's where things get a little complicated. Gotta fold up his legs first. We gotta carefully pop his neck off the body. And this is kind of one of those things that I actually wondered why they did this. Because remember, there's a gear system to make his neck and head move around. You gotta slide this down until it kind of pops out a bit. Because you're trying to get this off of the um, off the gear in there, and of course now that it's popped out just a little bit, we're gonna fold out this whole section here, leaving this big old cavity in his chest. So now we gotta make sure his legs are folded up. So we fold in everything, make sure his head's folded up like so. And this is the part that tends to be the most problematic because trying to get this whole assembly in like it's supposed to is a pain in the butt. You gotta make sure that everything's just lined up right so that it fits into the cavity like so, and unfortunately, it doesn't really fit all that well. So now we have this piece. We rotate his head around. We pop in the chest panel like so. And then we, we have these things folded out. So we got to fold them back in. But first, we got to straighten out this section here. Fold this around, fold out the heel spur, and do the same with the other side, like so. And I gotta make sure that the leg is in the proper position. Click together the, the uh, pelvis area. Let's flip out the other foot there. 
make sure everything is tabbed in place. And there we have Rat Trap in his robot mode. And yeah, that does not look too accurate to the show, does it? In fact, it feels like this section right here should be further back in. So it's more flush, but it doesn't really go in too well. In fact, this panel right here doesn't really fit too well. If you move his head, his jaw kind of moves, but it catches on this section here, so it doesn't really open all the way. And as I said, this section right here is supposed to, it feels like it's supposed to go down further, but it just can't. As for the articulation in this mode, as you saw, there's the standard joints we already have. And legs have some really nice articulation, so you can get some really nice poses out of the legs, but the arms just do not work too well. So what do we do with this? Well, we can straighten this out. I forgot to mention this thing has a lot of joints in it. But we can straighten it out and open his hand up like so. And you see there's a port there, but we can just stick this kind of whip-like thing so it looks like it's coming out of his hand like Scorpion Spear. Yes, there's your Mortal Kombat reference. However, we could also go to the back and you can see that there's the uh, gear where his head was supposed to be, and we just plug in the tail like so. So now he has a tail. Now then, you probably are going to be saying that is completely not accurate to the show because he does not have legs in the show. He has wheels for legs. There is a way to do that. You just fold up his legs like so. Yes, the instructions actually tell you to do this. And you have his wheel legs. And you have to have the tail in this mode because it's the only way you can actually support his weight. Because you have to use the tail to make it so that he doesn't fall down. That's a little better, but not by a whole lot. And of course the wheels also have a gimmick, but this only works if the legs are out. Because... There is little blades that pop out. They don't really rotate too well when the uh, leg is folded up. So yeah, that is uh, Beast Machine's rat trap. Uh, not bad in rat mode. And he was in rat mode for most of the first season. But in robot mode, I give it a pass. Unless you absolutely need every single toy in the uh, Beast Machines line. Which leads us to the Generations Rat Trap, which was released during Transformers 30th Anniversary. He looks just like a regular rat. He has a bit of articulation in his legs. A little rotation there. His tail moves up and down. It's not articulated. There's actually a wire in there. So it is recommended you are a little careful with that because you can bend this so many times that you can break the wire in these things. But there also is a hinge right there at the base of the tail. And of course, he has a opening and closing mouth. You have to get your thumbnail in the base if it's closed all the way. And... Of course, you can fold his head all the way up. There's actually a panel back here. And rotate his limbs so that you can get him in a little sitting position like he does in the show. But that also exposes all the robot mode bits. <laughs> Some sacrifices have to be made in order to do this, but it is kind of an eyesore if you are bothered by it. I'm not really, but some people might be. So, without further ado, let's actually get Rat Trap into this Rat Trap in his uh, robot mode. So we gotta 
pull out the arms here. They're kind of really stuck in there, but we gotta get them out first. We pull this thing off of his crotch. Yes, it's plugged right into his crotch. So that's kind of uh, weird. So we pull his butt off of his rear legs. We, it's been a while, so I don't remember. There we go. We fold the rat bits out, fold these bits out like so. We make sure we pull that apart and we fold this in and push that in until we get this flat. Now that it's supposed to be flat, but it's kind of hard to get this thing in the proper position on the first try. So there we go. Then we fold this down, fold the robot mode leg in, fold the foot in so it acts like the heel to the robot mode foot. Do this to the other side. Come on. Come on. A little tricky to get this uh, fully transformed, but it's not as bad as that guy because all the pieces do fit like they're supposed to at least. Although it is a lot more complex transformation. So we gotta fold the tail in like that, fold the butt piece in, fold this whole assembly out, making sure that this stays in place like so. There's actually a notch where the hinge goes. Next we fold these sections out, just a tight joint. Rotate his arms like so. Come on. Come on. There we go. Make sure that everything is folded as it's supposed to be. Now then with the back panel, suggested that you fold his arms up like this because that's kind of how it was in the show. And then we take the rat head and fold it all the way down. Take this panel and fold it all the way down. And there's his robot mode head. Oh, I got his arm the wrong way there. And there we have Generations Rat Trap in his robot mode. And wait, hang on. Yeah, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Anyway, that is Generations Rat Trap, and he looks completely show accurate to the first season of Beast Wars. Unfortunately, the hip on mine has gotten a little loose. It was a lot tighter when I first got it, so it's just I think it's just the age of the thing. So, as you can see, we have his little gun in this kind of whitish plastic. Kind of a grayish white. We can, of course separated them into two smaller guns but then we have this weird bowl like or cup like thing in there so i just leave them together like so and it just fits in his hand like so he also has another gimmick if you've ever seen the episode um I'm trying to remember the name of it it was i think it was called the build a better mousetrap he has a little debt pa uh, detonator pack in his arm yeah his little bomb Stores in his arm just like it did in the show. And it does sort of fit in his hand. It's got to fit in an angle though. Some uh, Someone who's not familiar with the show would probably think it's like a pair of binoculars or something. But no, it is a bomb. And we got to get this back out of his hand. Slide it back in his arm where he has it stored. It's all pretty nice. His head sculpt's pretty nice too. Not sure if it comes on camera, but they did sculpt his head to be just like in the show. Just has a swivel. There's that joint there, so you can look up slightly. His shoulders are ball jointed. Doesn't have much bend in the elbow. Both elbows are about the same. They don't really go up to 90 degrees. There is the rotation right above the elbow. Wrists do not rotate. Hips are ball jointed, as you can see this one's very loose. Thigh swivel, 
Decent bend at the knee, no tilt at the ankle. But, yeah. This is the rat trap you want if you're a fan of Beast, Machine, uh, Beast Wars, because it looks pretty accurate to the show. Although, the Beast, the uh, Trans Metal one also looked pretty accurate to the show, because at that point they were just completely basing the toys off the show models at that point. But if you never got the original Rat Trap, this one is actually, I think this one's actually better than the original Rat Trap because that was like a uh, $5 figure. It was just very basic in transformation and articulation, whereas this one is more show accurate and is actually more in scale with some of the more modern interpretations of the uh, Beast Wars characters, not counting the uh, Masterpiece ones. Although, I think in some weird way, this may be in scale with the Masterpiece versions. Anyway, that is my Year of the Rat reviews. Uh, Beast Machine's uh, Rat Trap. It looks nice as a, as a rat. As a robot, not so much. Generations Rat Trap. Really great representation of the character and is a must-own for any Beast Wars fan. And little Wasp and Air Chan still back there. So anyway, we will see you guys again next video. Bye!